Uganda is endowed with a warm climate, ample fertile land and regular rainfall, all of which provides one of the best environments for agricultural production in sub-Saharan Africa. Agriculture has for several years formed the backbone of Uganda's economy, contributing approximately 37% of the gross domestic product, GDP. 85% of population in rural areas is engaged in agricultural production and live in poverty. Poverty is not just the lack of income, but also the lack of means to satisfy basic social needs, a feeling of powerlessness to break out of poverty and insecurity. In a bid to address poverty and livelihood issues at community level, Government of Uganda, through National Environment Management Authority, NEMA, with financial support from UNDP and UNEP Poverty Environment Initiative, PEI is demonstrating low-cost methods of eradicating poverty from communities and households by working closely with local community-based organizations. Between 2007-2008, Poverty Environment Initiative, PEI, identified and signed contracts with three community-based organizations, CBOs, namely Association for Countrywide Afforestation, ACA, based in Goma Subcounty, Mokono District, Nsona Development Association, based in Kayunga Subcounty, Kayunga District, and the Environment Concern Organization, TECO, based in Rengo Subcounty, Masaka District. The financial support given to the CBOs was to enable them implement pilot poverty environment related projects demonstrating the importance of sound environment management for poverty reduction and improved human well-being. Our major objective is first of all to demonstrate that good environmental management can, is critical to poverty reduction and improved well-being. Now we hope to, that, that message to be taken by the development partners, the government, at both the local and central levels, to integrate poverty environmental issues in their poverty reduction strategies and policies. And then we also hope that once evidence is generated that the environment is good for poverty reduction and improved human well-being, we hope that this will be replicated at a wider you know, level, at national level, and also to be taken over by other, you know, people. Now we also hope that individuals would see these projects and get resources, borrow resources, you know, mobilize resources, and carry out similar activities. So it is an evidence-generating, you know, initiative on the significance of environment poverty reduction and improved human well-being. Among the activities that the micro-projects community-based organizations chose by themselves to undertake was livestock and beekeeping. Beekeeping, easy to integrate in crop production, requires low technology and applicability of indigenous knowledge and skills. Indeed, livestock and beekeeping have tremendously helped the local communities in Masaka and Kayunga to diversify household incomes and reduce over-dependence on exploitation of natural resources. Through use of animal manure, cows have especially contributed to the improvement in soil fertility and productivity. Nsona Development Association distributed piglets in Kayunga district, while in Masaka district, Teko gave out cows. Here in Kayunga, a total of 20 piglets were distributed to 20 households and the beneficiaries were trained in rearing them. The beneficiaries have reared the piglets for one year and the pigs now are of reasonable size. Members are expectant of the benefits from these animals. Such a mature pig can fetch up to 300,000 shillings, almost the same amount to buy a local breed of a bull. The Piggery Initiative fitted well into and complemented the NADS program within the sub-county, but the cost of feeds remains a challenge. Here in Masaka, six cows were given out, five cows in Kito Parish and one in Biriz Parish. The project constructed kraals for the farmers and bought one acaricide spray pump to be shared. 
Cows can boost household income through the selling of milk and improved crop yields as a result of improved soil fertility from cow dung. Beekeeping is being taken up by Kayunga communities as a way of income diversification for the households. A total of 20 beehives were distributed to 10 households. This was after an intensive training which includes a study tour to Kayonza sub-county to practically learn from the experienced beekeepers. The activity has not yielded benefits because those involved have not yet harvested the honey. Despite this, the members have shown keen interest in the activity and this was evidenced by some members acquiring additional hives to what they got from the micro project. We are here in Ikito village in Rengo sub-county visiting a widow, Maria Teresa Nanono, who is supporting her six grandchildren. This cow provides her with milk and cow dung, which she uses as manure to boost her crop production. She explains how she uses cow dung as fertilizer for her maize. As Maria Teresa explains, a little more cash has made life a lot easier than it was before. <laughs> Maria Teresa Nanono hopes that this kind of approach will spur other members of the community to replicate the new methods. But as of now, that is still a long way off, but at least the benefits are visible. According to Swaibu Kamba, the Teko official, cows are rotated amongst the beneficiaries for the purpose of increasing production. Members have seen increased maize productivity because of using cow dung as manure. This community-based organization, TECO, has transformed the lives of many people in areas where it has been implemented. Mrs. Uluwaza, for example, has managed to reduce poverty from her household through her Pigare project. The Uluwazas also take us through their nursery beds. Here they have different types of vegetables, including cabbage, spinach, onions and carrots. These are the dividends of Teko's techniques, like the water harvesting, which is also used to water the gardens. <laughs> This 47-year-old mother of 13 is now an example to the rest of the village and the entire sub-county of Luengo. This time, we are taken to see an economic activity that is environmentally friendly. Mrs. Uluwaza has taken beekeeping as another important activity. But it's here in Kayunga that the coordinator of Unsona Development Agency tells us the real significance of beekeeping to a family and the environment. Actually, like this activity of piggery, it's the community that requested for it that yes, as much as we are conserving the environment, we are trying to ensure that our soils can be uh, dug on and uh, can be used sustainably, we also need to get some other alternative ways of getting incomes, such that those who are engaged in cutting trees and 
burning charcoal and getting charcoal or getting money out of that can get some other alternative ways of getting income. So they thought of things that don't need to use this, I mean, to have, to grow. I mean, you don't need to dig. This old man has just started beekeeping, but because of the bright prospects, he's already asking for more. And still in Kayunga, Princess Namalwa in Wanchairachi village has not been left behind. Her piggery project is providing a substantial income for her family. This project aside, she's also keeping bees and she's hopeful to reap big from selling honey. <laughs> Njibina chanso na batu we mizinga kubanga nzibu bale eta Netu nyingida nechuli gula we migabochi Even the sub-county chief for Kayunga, Mr. Nathan Mulumba, is optimistic of the intervention of the UNDP, UNEP, Poverty Environment Initiative through the local community-based organization. Some of the people are very interested, especially peasants, because you know in the countryside, people are destroying forests, destroying trees. So if you can come up with this, such a product, it is uh, very much liked by the very common man on the, on the ground. The executive director of the National Environment Management Authority, NEMA, says it would be naive to separate poverty from environmental degradation. In recognition of this, one, to promote increased tree planting. And tree planting does not have to be on big pieces of land, but to make sure that people's plots, they have some trees around those plots, where they could use the branches for cooking, but also once those trees have been planted, they will help in protecting the soils, they will serve as watershed, so they will have a, mart a multiple of, 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 of purposes, they will be multi-purpose. Through this support, communities have been able to create partnerships with the Uganda Coffee Development Authority, Caritas and National Agricultural Advisory Services, NADS, plus other support organizations. They often interact on some of these projects. Because of the lessons learned now, the communities are forming savings schemes like SACO in order to attract government funding. In this kit of drama, the women of Unsona teach about the benefits that can accrue from conserving the environment and the dangers associated with degrading it. This kit shows that while one makes quick money through charcoal burning, it's counterproductive. Even when the money is got, in typical village situations, it's again wasted on booze and prostitutes. However, constant sensitization has shown that it can produce positive results. Even the young ones are singing the need for guarding the environment and sustainable use of natural resources. They could be innocently singing away these lyrics, but their message is in sync with experts who know what needs to be done to protect the environment and reduce poverty.